Hi, my name is Laura Gagliardi. Uh, I am professor of chemistry here at the University of Minnesota. About one week ago, I just ended up by chance to this website about this conference, and I started saying, oh, there is this conference next year, and it's in my field, so I was interested. And I noticed that there was not a single woman. And this is something that uh, uh, came to my eyes immediately. I noticed these things. So I was surprised. So I wrote to my two colleagues, and then they, they didn't know about it. But then as soon as we heard, we decided, we said, we have to do something. And uh, so it was proposed to, do, to write a letter and ask people to boycott the conference. I must say that personally I was a little uh, worried at the beginning. Also my colleagues, so we said, is it the right thing to do or not? I mean, will we just uh, have a lot of people telling that uh, we are hysteric and things like that? But then we decided that uh, it was the right thing, so we, we, we pushed the button. And uh, we, ha we have had an incredible response, which shows that uh, uh, it's not just the problem of this little conference, but it's a more general problem. And and actually what we would like to try to achieve is uh, to uh, really make people aware of the problem so that uh, change may take place. And uh, it's not just about the conference. It's, for example, in theoretical chemistry, it's the mentality of the community that has to change. And these uh, organizations that organize this conference, there are so few women in these organizations. That's inevitable that uh, they are all men and they will invite only men because uh, you try to invite people who are like you. And uh, these people Will, will continue to procreate uh, themselves. Uh, and uh, so we, we think, on the other hand, that uh, women nowadays, I mean, at the student level, I think about 40% of graduate students in chemistry and also in uh, chem physical chemistry are women. Of course, when you go up uh, in the pyramid, so assistant professor, uh, associate, and so on, the percent reduces. But I, I still think that uh, there are about 20% women uh, in the community in theoretical chemistry. And this should be reflected by these events, by the various organizations, and also I think that we should encourage more young women to participate, to uh, become scientists. But how can we do that if then uh, uh, they see th these outcomes? So we, we really want to try to um, de develop awareness, especially among the young generations. And uh, it will be better for everybody, not just for women. If women are happier at work, they are 50% of the entire population, and they can uh, have great ideas uh, in a more friendly environment. Uh, this would be good also for men. So we think uh, this is the right cause.